Hi folks, Dan John here from Dan John University. Uh, good question came in today. Uh, not from the forums, it was on our ruck today. Uh, we had about eight of us go for a, a two mile ruck. Uh, and then when I came home, uh, the Murray uh, City people uh, turned my water off and so I'll have to deal with that for a few hours. Question came from my good friend, Kevin Mass. He, he asked, uh, he was listening to a podcast I had with Pat Flynn. He asked a good question. Pat recommends two to three times a week get sweaty in your workouts and two to three times a week get strong. And Kevin asks a simple question. He goes, uh, can't you combine those in one day? And my answer took me all the way back to 1973 and 1974 when the great uh, shot put coach and former thrower Dave Davis wrote a really interesting article for Track Technique about three days a week training, actually modern training for throwers. And his idea, now there was two options, whether you lift first or throw first, but let's not worry about that now. But his idea with the modern thrower being such a big, strong, powerful unit, he argued for just training three days a week. And he also argued adding a little bit of a jog in there and up to a mile, not, nothing crazy at all. And that got me thinking, you know, part of our tradition that we've lost in strength and conditioning is training three days a week. So uh, I started unpacking this and thinking about it. And uh, I got back to Al Order. Uh, he had four gold medals in the Olympics. Uh, he often trained just three days a week. Uh, he would throw first and then go in and lift the basics. Dave David uh, Dave Davis re recommended the exact same thing. And it got me thinking about how for a long time, people were making great strides in track and field and in strength, uh, the power uh, world, uh, Olympic lifting and uh, power lifting, by just training three days a week. So I went back into this some of my old, old archives. This has to be from about 1975. And I used to... Whenever I found something I wanted to kind of really know, I would write it all down in this little, I don't, know, I don't even know what you call it anymore. It's just a ring binder. But what's nice is I had this theory that if I wrote it down, I would remember it. So I found this tier of the 198-pound uh, weightlifter, 90-kilo Bulgarian, Anton Nikolov. He trained three days a week with Monday being back squats and pulls, Wednesday being front squats, clean snatches, and pulls. Friday being back squats, jerks, and pulls. Lots of pulls, lots, lots of squats, but just three days a week. I have here on the back, uh, Victor Saniev's uh, program. Arguably the greatest triple jumper of all time, uh, just for his consistency over Olympic after Olympic. And uh, as I was telling Kevin from just memory today, his transitional program is uh, day one, play games, day two, rest. Day three, games. Day four, rest. Games, games, rest. That was his off season. And when you look at the rest of his year, you see a lot of days dedicated to rest. So it is perfectly acceptable. In fact, probably a good idea for a lot of us to get back to the old idea of three days a week training, where in each session you get a little sweaty and you get a little stronger. It can be that simple. Thank you.